Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemsko and welcome to a walkthrough of the It's All Going Swimmingly quest in Sims Free Play. This is part of the main set of quests within the game, which means that as soon as it is available to you to be able to do, you will get this pop-up. You have to be at level 13 and you have to have completed the previous quests before you can do this one. The quests kind of run along in a story and you can't complete this one if you haven't completed the previous ones that need to be completed. As soon as you can complete it, you will get this pop-up that says new quest available, it's all going swimmingly. There is a two day time limit on this and it says, get ready to send your sims diving head first into the water. Complete this quest to gain access to swimming pools and a new diving hobby for your sims. This is very exciting that we're getting swimming pools in the game. There is a limited time prize on this as well. So let's just take a little look at this. It says complete the quest within the time limit to unlock a volleyball net for your swimming pool. So that's the limited time prize if we complete it within the two days. And like it said, as soon as we complete this quest, we will unlock the swimming center and the ability to add swimming pools to our Sims backyards. Let's go ahead and get started with the first thing we need to do. We need to build the swimming center. Phew, it's hot out there. Simtown is missing something. A public swimming pool. Luckily, there's one in the south of the town map ready to be built. Running low on simoleons? There are great bargains in the online store. So clearly it thinks that we may be running low on simoleons by this point in the game. Hopefully you have been watching these videos and a few videos ago, I think it was in the Ocean View Estate quest, I'm not sure now, but I think it was in that video that I gave you a really amazing tip for getting in simoleons and hopefully you've taken advantage of that and you are fine for simoleons going forward with this quest. But let's go on over there. So head out onto the town map and then if we come down here, the swimming centre is, let's click on it and for me, this is going to take 12 hours and 45 minutes. It's going to cost 20,000 and we need eight sims. That could be different for you depending on how many buildings you have built in your sim town. But that is what it's going to take for me. We need to go ahead and get this started because I think this quest might be difficult to complete in time. So let's start the build now. In terms of if I need to speed things up, I have got 35 LPs up there. But I am still working on the cooking hobby continuously as I am playing the game that I am working on the cooking hobby with my sims so that I can gain LPs. If you don't know, each time you complete the cooking hobby you will get five LPs and so it's just a really good way to get a few extra little LPs. We have just leveled up to level 14. We've got one LP from that. It was sim unlocked, house unlocked. The Neo Tokyo stuff is now available to us. Loads of different furniture items. Yep, that's all good. Okay, let's continue. Oh, people have been promoted at work. And the swimming centre is now complete. And the swim centre is down here, all completed. So let's click on it. And task complete on that. Now we need to send a sim to the swim centre. It's finished. Send a sim to the swim centre. Let's check this place out. So I think I want to use Alicia and Matt for this quest. These are our newest sims. I feel like our other sims have been involved in a few quests now. So let's bring Alicia over. Admire the swim centre slide. Wow, this place is awesome. They even have Wumples, the water safe bunny, and a slide here for their grand opening. Admire the spiral slide. I love little Wumples. She's so cute. Look at her. Dancing away outside. <laughs> Let's click on the big slide here and admire. And of course, this is the first time we're seeing the swim centre, which is a cool little place. You can do the diving hobby over here. They've got these life garden chairs that I think we can eventually, we'll get them, that we can place in our home. And then we have like the toddler area over here, which is really cute. And this is the toddler playhouse where we're going to start the toddler hobby in a few episodes time. Now I need to look at the diving board apprehensively. Your sim looks nervous, but what could be wrong? They must be scared of the water because they've never seen a pool before. Have a sim look at a diving board with extreme apprehension. So let's click on a diving board and look apprehensively for one minute. And whilst she is doing that, what we're going to do is go back to a home 
and we really do need to start preparing for an upcoming quest and what we need to do is go into the baking section and there's a new baking item that we can now build or not build bake which is a birthday cake and in a few quests I don't know that it's in two quest time we need a toddler and to have a toddler we have to have a birthday party for our babies and to have a birthday party you need a birthday cake so I would recommend now baking a birthday cake just so you've got that there once you've baked it it doesn't go off or anything you can just keep it in your infantry and when you need to use it you can use it so let's bake that there for five lps if you see if we click on baby we can if we click on have birthday because you can't have a birthday without a birthday cake bake one on the stove need a birthday cake pretty soon if we don't have it then we're going to have some problems in an upcoming quest we're back over at the swim center and we finished looking at the diving board apprehensively now we need to ask Wumpulse for advice. Your sim can't stay scared of water all day and expect to grow emotionally. Maybe Wumpulse, the water safe bunny, can give them some advice and a little extra life experience too. Have a sim ask Wumpulse for advice. So let's go and find her at the front of the swim centre and we click on her and ask advice is six minutes. We've finished asking Wumpulse for advice. Now we need to supervise in a lifeguard chair. Wumpulse just gave your sim some great advice. Don't worry, if anything goes wrong, there's a lifeguard who can help you. But wait, there's no lifeguard on duty. Have a sim supervise in the lifeguard chair. So over to the lifeguard chair and supervise for 6 minutes 24 seconds. But that completes straight away, so you don't need to wait for that to complete. Now we need to use a diving board. Okay, now that the swim centre has a lifeguard, your sims are ready to use the diving board. Have a sim perform any dive from the diving board. So you could cancel this action if you wanted, but I think I'm going to leave her and I'm going to bring Matt over and Matt can go to the diving board and you can do any one of these, but I'm just going to do the shortest one, obviously. Brief leap for 10 minutes. And your sim will come over and spin into their swim shorts. So now Matt is doing the diving hobby and just check it out like the first time they do the diving hobby. They are, oh no, that wasn't so bad. That, that wasn't so bad at all. But the next one he does, maybe he'll like belly flop or something. I really like that when they do a hobby like this, they start off and the actual actions are terrible. Like the ice, when you get ice skating or different ones, they just can't do it. And then as they, as they get better in the hobby and level up further, it actually, he's really good for a first time, it, but the actual actions are different depending on how high they up in the hobby. When Matt's finished his diving, we collected a new medal, so we've started the diving hobby now. We'll just go and we'll go and check that out in a second. But the next thing we need to do is to look at pool slide apprehensively. A sim just dared another to use the slide. They aren't sure though, it looks scary. Have a sim look at the slide with super extreme apprehension. So, oh, here is the diving hobby. So you can see that the first time we complete the diving hobby, we're gonna unlock diving boards to use at our swimming pool at home. And we have 12 collectibles to get with this one. And the same again as with the cooking hobby. They These later ones are greyed out at the moment because we haven't got a sim up to these levels. We've only got a sim at level one and so we can only get these white ones we just have to keep doing the hobby until they are leveled up to the highest level and then we can collect all of the medals let's use alicia to look at the slide so she's going to look apprehensively at the slide for 10 hours and 30 minutes and i think that i will continue the diving hobby with matt we have finished looking at the pool slide apprehensively now we need to be nice to a sim. Your sim still seems a little worried about using the slide. Time for some useful advice from a friend. Get a sim to be nice to another sim. So Matt has been doing his little diving hobby. So let's just get him to finish that. And then he can go and be nice to Alicia. And say be nice to sim. And that takes one minute. Just going to swim out of the pool there. I love how they swim. Like standing up. They don't like... Put their bum up. <laughs> we have been nice to a sim. Now we need to use the slide. Your sim has been so distracted that they forgot all about their fear of slides. Have a sim use the slide before they lose their confidence again. So quick, let's get Alicia to use the slide. 
two hours and 50 minutes. Oh, look, she's changed into her swimsuit. Up the slide she goes. Woohoo! She looks scared at the end there. She's going to go again now. Alicia has finished using the slide. Now we need to splash a sim in a pool. Whee! Your sim just had a great idea. Splash a sim. All you need is two sims in the pool at the same time. Go on, get a sim to splash another sim. So Alicia is already in the pool. Let's get Matt. So you need to click on the pool and say go swimming and he will change into swim stuff, jump in the pool and then once he's in the pool, click on another sim and splash for 10 seconds. This is quite a cute little interaction. Him splashing. Task complete. Now flip a sim in a pool. Ha! Since both your sims are still in the pool, have one flip the other one over. Flip a sim in the pool. So same thing. Have one sim selected, click on the other one and flip for four seconds. Oh, she nearly banged her head on the slide. And that's task complete. Now chat to a sim while in a pool. Ah, just in case there are hard feelings, get your sim to chat to the other sim while in the pool. Again, click on the other sim and chat is four minutes. Whilst they are doing that, Chloe has finished, I think it was Chloe, who was baking the birthday cake. Yes, she has finished baking the birthday cake. So we'll go ahead and we'll click that. We need this birthday cake for an upcoming quest. And do you know what I might do? I might just do another one. It's always good, I think, to have a couple of cakes in reserve just in case you need a sim of a certain age that you haven't got and you can age them up. So let's just get her making another one for five LPs. I have been busy collecting my LPs from the cooking hobby. Actually, I've made a little area, I'll show you. It's not been decorated or anything, it's just a really functional space. And what you need to do, you could, you could do this with 10 sims in one house if you have 10 sims. At the moment, I've just got four sims working on the cooking hobby. What you need to do is just have one um, countertop and then place the countertop in the corner. Have a toaster, but place the toaster so that the arrow bit that uh, where sims interact with it, don't have it pointing out, if you have it pointing out, this won't work. You have to have it pointing in towards the wall so they can't access it. And then you can place as many cookers, many stoves as you have sims for. And also go ahead and kick over the trash can. And then it just makes it all quicker to do. So you can go ahead and collect the food. And oh, we've got some new things for the cooking hobby. Collect those. And then when you go to clear up, because we've kicked over the trash can, it goes quicker because your sim will try to go to a sink and try to go to a trash can but when they're not there it will just instantly complete. If you have a sink or you have the trash can available they'll go out to the trash can or they'll go to the sink and they'll try and clear up so if you do all of that it makes it easier for you. So yeah I'm working on that for my LPs, got them all slaving over here. Alicia and Matt have finished chatting, now we need to go and talk to Wumples. Wumples looks like she has something to say. Go talk to her. Let's go and find her out at the front. We'll click on her and talk to Wumples for 30 seconds. We've finished talking to Wumples. Now we need to talk to Wumples again. Wumples was so excited that she said everything too fast. Ask her to repeat what she said, but slowly this time. Talk to Wumples again. So let's click and talk to Wumples slowly for three minutes. I think Alicia's actually coming over to do that instead of Matt. We have finished talking to Wumples and now I think this is the last thing that we have to do. We have to go and use the slide. Wumples said that the home store is about to release everything you need to build swimming pools at home. Use the slide one more time to celebrate. So head over to the slide, the bumpy ride slide, and let's click you slide is 2 hours and 50 minutes. Alicia has finished using the slide and that is quest complete. Congratulations, you can now build pools in your own home. We'll check that out in a second. And congratulations, you just unlocked the volleyball net for finishing this quest so fast. Find it under pool items in the outdoor section of the home store. We will check those prizes out in a second. The next quest that becomes available to us is the hidden unicorn quest. 
And this one has a time limit of three days, so it's slightly longer than the ones that, that we have had recently. So let's go ahead and check out what we unlocked and the prizes from this quest. Obviously we have unlocked the swimming centre, but we have also now unlocked the ability to have pools at home. And seeing as Alicia and Matt kind of did the quest, it only seems right that they should get the first swimming pool in their house. So let's go into the home store. And unfortunately they've got no space in their back garden, so it's going to have to be kind of be at the front. But we'll have a rejig around of this at some point. And now you'll see in the house section, in the, if you go to the outdoors section, we have a pools. So we can, let's just, in fact, let me just get rid of these trees because these are going to be in the way. So in the outdoor section, we have a pools section now, and the smallest you can do a pool is three by three. You can see that you can, you can have it the whole lot if you wanted to. They are quite expensive, to be honest, but let's just, let's place one down like this, a five by, in fact, let me just show you what a three by, a three by three is 13,620 simoleons. I'm going to do one slightly larger. So a five by three is 22,660, but we're going to place that down. And then also in the pool section, you can change the pool interior. There's several different interiors, to be honest. I never, ever, ever change the interior of my pool. I don't know why, but um, obviously, you know, those options are there if you want to. You can also change the pool paving around the pool so you can make it match your patios if you want, just make it look different around it. We're going to leave it how it is for now. You can also make the paver width bigger so you can have it two, so it's we've cut off the edge here so at the front so we can't do it at the front bit there, but it can be two out, it can be three out, or it can actually be four out that was more beneficial i would say before we had patios i mean obviously i haven't got patios in the game at the moment but when you do the patios quest you don't really tend to sort of change the paver width but before we had that that was quite useful and then also we have pool items of course the sims need some things to play with in the pool you always need some ladders so make sure you place some ladders down so that your sims can get out otherwise they can't get out of the pool Whilst we're in the pool items, actually, you can see the volleyball net there. And that is what we won by completing this quest within the time limit. Oh, I can't go ahead and place it down. Let's make the pool a little bit bigger. In fact, it will be a good, a good way of showing you how we make it bigger. Just go back into the pool section and you can just drag it out to make it bigger or smaller if you want to. There's no problem at all with that. So let's go back into pool items. Volleyball net, we'll place that down. And we will in fact need ladders on this side as well because I think whoever's playing volleyball on this side will need to get out. We're spending quite a lot of money on this pool, right? And then also you can see there in the pool items there's an inflatable shark, some, just some general other little inflatables. And we've got the slides as well. We haven't got diving boards at the moment because as I mentioned before, if we go into the hobbies section, we have Matt who is working on the diving hobby, but he needs to complete this diving hobby before we get access to the diving board. So he will continue working on that with him. We can only do the diving hobby over at the swim center at the moment, but there's four diving boards over there. So it's plenty, but poor Matt actually is the only sim that I've got working on diving at the moment because everybody else is too busy doing the cooking, try and get in some LPs. Maybe I'll take a few sims off cooking and make them join in with doing the diving. But we'll just I'll just show you what the options are. So we've got, when you click on the volleyball net, a quick game for two minutes, a challenge for 6.24, and a match is 24 minutes. We will get both sims, we'll get them both doing it. So you click on one and then with the other one, you can join in. I think you can get four people joining in actually. Let's, let's just see, let's cancel. Oh, easy there, Tiger. Playing volleyball is like tango, it takes two. Yeah, that's okay, somebody else is coming. I'm just gonna cancel some sims to see. I'm pretty sure you can have four sims, but maybe I'm wrong. So let's see, I've brought over two more sims, and oh no, no. Oh no, actually, hang on, no, quick game. She's joining in, or she's join in, yeah, okay. So they're having their match and they're having their, yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe we can get, no, I think that's it, yeah, four is the maximum that we can have. 
I'm pretty sure. Anyway, also you can see that they've all just got the same swimsuits on. The men just kind of wear these pinky purple shorts and the women wear like the same, like a lilac-y colour swimsuit. We have unlocked new swimwear. To get this new swimwear, we have to go out onto the town map. This is going to be expensive, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless... You know, you really do want to get the swimwear. But if you head over, over to the left-hand side, so the park's kind of up here, we have this one here, this this community build. It's the costume and swim store. For me, it costs 100000 I need nine sims. It's going to take me one day and 12 hours. So it's whether you need a costume for a fancy dress party, a swimsuit to enjoy your new outdoor pool area, or an umbrella for a rainy day, the costume and swim store has you covered. I am going to get that started and I'm going to show you the different swimwear that you unlock. Like I say, it's very expensive. You don't have to do this right now. In fact, I probably would recommend that you waited a while before you do, before you go and spend 100000 although it could be different for you. But let's get that build in. Another thing that we have, if you go into the online store, you can see that we have, where is it? Maybe all the way at this end. We have this automatic pool cleaner that is $1.99 for me and I have, have actually bought this on my main game. I think it was definitely worth it for me. All you do is you, obviously you have to spend real money to buy that and then once you've bought it, you can just place it in the bottom of the pools and it keeps the pools clean. These pools will go dirty, green and horrible if you don't clean them. Now it only takes three minutes to clean up with a sim but I don't know, for me I just really value having that automatic pool cleaner so I don't have to bother with the pools, I don't have to give them any maintenance, they're just always nice and blue and the sims can always use them because you can't actually go and use the pool if it's dirty and green. The costume and swim store is now completed, it is finished building so let's click on it and you can see here new clothing available in the clothing store so it's not actually just swimsuits that we get we do get some new clothes as well I'm just going to scroll through so you can see them all so you can see we've just got a couple of outfits female adult outfits and then we move on to swimwear here very different bikinis and costumes and then again more outfits here so much available wow then yeah this is also adult female there's so much right I'm just gonna keep going because there is loads and loads and loads right we're now so that is all the female adult now we're moving on to the male adults you can see there's some clothes there and then some trunks to wear in the swimming pool and then we're gonna go back on to outfits here so much stuff I'd forgotten that you get this amount of outfits from the costume and swim store wow and now we're, oh, we're moving on to seniors now some swimwear for the seniors and then we're going to move on to the female teen got some swimwear for them and also some clothes oh my goodness and wow okay male teen loads of swimwear for them shorts some outfits for them and then some toddler outfits that we've got here male and female toddler outfits so cute and then have we got more toddlers we've got more toddlers and then we're going to go on to preteen female preteen swimwear for them and some clothes as well some nice little dresses there and then have we got yeah we've got male preteen clothes and swimwear as well wow an awful lot of items there. We've come out of the swim and costume store. If you go back in it now, some of these clothes you do actually have to buy. They're just in the store to buy. So you can see you've got two tabs here. You've got your wardrobe with all your sims there. And then you've got the store. And you can see that if we go, let's go into the male toddler outfits. You have to buy them. So these outfits that we got, so let's just swimwear. These aren't available for your sims if you just go into the wardrobe. So if we went into our toddler's wardrobe, we can't... Let's have a look. Let's go into Joshua's wardrobe, swimwear. You can see he's only got one item that he can actually wear for swimwear. We have to go into the store, buy them first, purchase them for the price that it says. And then once we've purchased them in the store, then we will have them available for the sims in the actual wardrobe.
Hopefully you understand that that's something new that we haven't had before. We've always just had the clothes available to us in the wardrobe. Whenever we click on a wardrobe with a sim, we can just have the clothes. Whereas now we've got this store where we have to actually go in and purchase them before they come available to us in the wardrobe. But there we go. There is the finished quest. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to keep commenting down below with suggestions for names of sims to add into this game. Thank you so much for watching, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new and I will see you soon for the next quest in the game. Bye! Yeah.